Okay, here's the agate slopes. So you're gonna come in on the road, that's the road there, and it uh, loops around up there, down here, it starts zigzagging, and we'll head up that way. So we're on the north side of the road right now. And it's, it's these slick black slopes. If you want a landmark, try and uh, spot it, you know, maybe off that crest hill. We're back ways from that hill. But it gets really slick, flat black. You can kind of see it here. And uh, when you get down, you'll start spotting the agates. They're kind of like a pinky cream color. They're just, uh, you know, I don't know what I'd call them, white kind of blonde agates. Uh, let me get that to focus. So I'm sure if you rock in enough, you've seen this kind of agate, plenty of spaces. Um, but as you walk, everything's covered in the desert varnish and you just kind of, kind of got to spot that, uh, you know, glowing agate stuff. So let me get low to the ground here and see if I can, there we go, spot another right there. You can see it. Let me see here. So they're here. Again, the size you'll find. We haven't found too many. That's about the medium size. The big ones are like twice that. Um, there's lots of small ones, but you'll find enough of these medium sized ones for a tumbler batch, I think in probably three hours, give or take. And you can, of course, wander up higher on the slope too. Um, and figure out where they're concentrated, where they're coming from. But they're definitely here. And uh, it's relatively abundant. A bit of a walk-in. I'd say like two kilometer walk-in. You don't need a rock hammer or anything unless, yeah, you just, you just don't need a pick or a rock hammer or anything. Um, easy walk-in. A little bit of a distance, but an easy walk. And there's another just to show you. So they're just tumbler stuff. You don't want to make jewelry out of these at all. Um, just tumbler grade agate, but they'll tumble up real nice. And as you can see, the rate at which I'm picking them up, they're abundant enough. Here we go. Um, some people think they're like a pink agate, but the issue is it's the skin, that rind, that reflects into it and gives the illusion of pink. Once you grind that rind off, it's more of just a clear, clear sort of agate. So don't get excited about it being pink. They may have a very, very faint pink hue, but, but not that much one. After digging the site for a while, um, yes, you can go up on the slope, but I would say actually down where it's more uh, flat, like horizontal, and everything's more flush, like the surface layer is more flush, it's easier to spot them. So watch this, I'll hopefully get this in the uh, focus for you as I go through here. I'll just keep moving forward and see what I find. And of course, now that I set it, I can't find it. Here we go. There's a nice big one, decent size. There's another little one. Almost missed that. And one right there. You guys are probably going to point something out in the video that I missed. Out here and get it yourself. If I miss it. How about that? That's my answer to you. There's another. Look at that. This fast. I'm picking them up this fast. So they're out here. You can fill a bag pretty quick. I said two, three hours. You got a full 15, 12 pound tumbler barrel. Breaking work, bending down again and again. Look at that. Look at all those agates. There you go. Some have druzy inside, some have betroidal. There'll be little pockets. So, uh, that's the agate site. 
and there's a geode site nearby too. That abundant though. Not fast, you can pick them up. All right. Oh, here. I was just telling you some are like pockets. There's one. It's filled with some some junk. Put the inside pocket. So. Uh, I'll, I'll do a video at the end that can kind of landmark you on the walk-in. It's pretty easy, and again, I keep seeing them all around me. So, come on in. There's Elena, she's having fun. Oh yeah, remember at the start of the video I said there's your landmark, and we were uh, pulling them from the, that slope there. The darker areas are easier to see. Well, come this way farther south from that point. Up the slope, here's the road going up the hill. The, well, it's a walking trail now, not a road. But uh, you can get a dune buggy up, by the way. But um, essentially, they're way more abundant uh, through here. We don't even know. I don't know if there's, yeah, there's just so many more. Let me get down low and, uh, and show you here. But they're, they're everywhere. There's a couple more. There's one. There's one hiding under that rock. Here's another. So um, if you tuned in for this long, Make sure you avoid over there and come over here. I mean, they're, they're good over there, but this is even better all throughout these rocks. Oh yeah, here's your uh, video just to show you how to get there. So I'm midway, maybe not exactly, don't take that as uh, as gospel, but I'm you know midway down the trail. So this is the trail you're gonna use. At some point, you'll see it veer off to that mountain. Do not go that way. You're gonna keep looping around this peak here uh, to the right of it. And on the other side is, of that peak is where you'll uh, start getting the uh, loop de loos and uh, you'll go through a big wash and you'll see the, the areas I was talking about with the agates. Let me do a 180. So all the way back there, that's our vehicle on the road. So you'll see this, I'll, I'll point it out from the road and I'll put an entry point GPS marker for you. But uh, it's, it used to be a road and now it's a hiking trail. I think you're not allowed a vehicle on here. Either way, it can take a dune buggy the whole way if you'd like to do that, but I'm just not sure of the, the legality. It may be a protected area now, so check that first. Uh, maybe there's a sign posted. I'm not 100% sure on that, and uh, we're going back. Oh yeah, so I was correct. You cannot actually take your uh, dune buggy in here. Um, there's the marker. Here I am at the road. You'll see some boulders right there blocking the roadway, giant boulders. And the trail you're gonna take is the one that cuts up the mountains right there. That's where my finger makes it blur out, but that one right there. So I just start walking. Once you get over that crest, you still got a distance to go. That's maybe halfway to the first site, right at the crest of that hill, uh, right where my fingernail is there. So. Have fun.